Anya. Anya, come by me. Ella, Ella, come. Come by me, girl. Come. Girl. Come, Ella, come here. Come here. How's my girl? How's my big girl? It's okay, you can just leave that. No, hey. Anya, come. Go to man. What's going on, buddy? What's going on? Come on, yeah. What? What a magnificent big girl. What? 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 This big girl. This big girl. This big girl. This is Anya. This is Dakota. That was Ayla. Come on. <laughs> this is a magnificent big female. Look at how nice she is. Look at, her, look at the shape of her. Look at the condition of this dog. Yes, yes. This is my big girl. This is my big girl. <laughs> Ayla, Ayla, come. Ella, bring that thing here. I should have taken that. Uh... Uh, you're such a good girl, Anya. What a big girl. Anya is just coming in to heat. Come, Ella. Come. Come. Uh, there's my big girl, Ella. Oh, my girl. Ella is a daughter of Anya. Ella. Ella, come. <laughs> so I hope today to be able to talk a little bit. Tanya, right by me. Good. Good. What a beautiful girl. Oh my goodness. This is one of the. Oh, let's go over here a little bit. Come here. Good. Let me just turn you. There. Look at this magnificent dog. Beautiful female. This is a daughter of Anya and Rico. Russ and Beth have worked hard with me to help preserve this genetic lineage and to start a new pool. And today I wanted to take a few minutes and talk about elk hound preservation as a preservation breeder. Because of what's going on in the world these days, a lot of people now begin to understand the importance of having these gene pools that are separate and distinct. So yeah, don't do that. And having these gene pools distinct We've all seen how fast things travel around the world and having a pocket of 
genetics way out here in the middle of no man's land is a very crucial thing for the animals and especially this breed and uh, the breeders overseas and here as well they understand that uh, safety of this genetic is paramount and we had to set a new gene pool up and Anya, Anya come by me, Anya come. Anya was the first uh, Rico and Anya were the first pair to have a genetic uh, impact in this gene pool, and this is the result, of course. We've since imported more, but Anya is such a magnificent big girl. She's such an amazing dog, and uh, they uh, come by me, Anya, right here. This is just an incredible female. Look at this girl, just unbelievable. And so our goal was to start a genetic pool here that uh, is separate and distinct from the ones overseas and to allow it to flourish here and what they've done is uh, helped us with and Russ and Bess and I and, and the breeders over there Satu and uh, Mika and Aussie, Dabros and uh, Marco they've all contributed uh, genetics into this gene pool, the very best genetics that uh, we could get. And what that's done is now put a generation of females here that are going to have pups that will be mated to a new import for Paso and start a brand new genetic pool here uh, based on that first import. What this does is allows the the North American base of Jemtons to develop and be in a safe zone basically so that if something did occur there, okay, uh, control it as best you can but we all know now that once something happens there's no getting the dogs out of there. So uh, you couldn't, uh, you couldn't once, once something happens to a genetic pool in an area as confined as that over there, I mean they're very, very careful, but this is, this is like seed saving. I mean uh, we all know about seed saving. And so this is very much uh, genetic preservation at its finest right now. And, in, and the, the whole uh, virus thing has brought to awareness to everybody that certain aspects of of uh, health and life, not just in people, of course, it's very, very important for people right now, and I'm going to talk about that in another video, but as I've been a preservation breeder now for quite a few years and working to set this all up, it's, it's like, uh, well, there's the, there's the view of what can happen, right? And there's how, how fast that goes across, and here's why we need to have these gene pools in separate locations as far from each other as possible and without interaction with many others at all. Anya, come by me. Anya. And so what you end up... Anya, come down here. What you end up with is an isolated breeder like me out in the middle of the mountains and very few interactions with other dogs or people and I can... I can quickly isolate myself almost entirely. Uh, to, to give you an idea, when I hike, I've been hiking, and I'll just use the last five years. I've only met two people in the last five years, and we meet no dogs. So we're basically an isolated little pocket. Anya, come by me. Tupac, quit that. Tupac lost his patty, and he's trying to get it there. I'll have to go and get it for him. Come on, Anya. Come by me here. Anya, come. Come up here. De uh, what an amazing dog this Ayla is, eh? Isn't this something? Look at this. Look at this Anya, too. What a powerhouse. So Anya's a big girl right now, boy. She's in full coming into full heat, but she's in magnificent shape. Look at this girl. 
This is a big girl too, boy. She's strong. She's powerhouse. Yeah, she's bigger than Dakota. Yeah, she thumps out all the males. None of them push her around. She's a big girl. They don't come for her food, let me tell you. Even Leaf, he's a food stealing machine. He don't go near on you. Come here on you. Stay right by me. Good, Dale. You stay. Good. You girls just stay right by me. Come here. Good. Good, you girls. You girls are my girls, boy. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So what a beautiful specimen to start the program with is that dog. It's just amazing. Look at this. Is this a is this an incredible dog or what? Now this dog looks just like her grandmother Lisa, Anya's mother. She's just almost identical. Lisa's a Finnish bear champion and she looks just like her. Anya's father is a big gray boy like that. He's a champion moose hunter and he's gray like Anya. So there is a few big grays, but this is a magnificent black. She took lots of the black out of Rico too. Rico's a big black boy. Ark! Ark wants to come for the video. Ark! No noise. So yeah, beautiful, beautiful dog. Now I have Paso to meet this dog too. So the, the neat thing about this uh, genetic preservation is that we automatically already practice social isolation and all those new catchphrases. I don't, I don't even know them all, but I don't have news here. I don't have TV. I, I, I don't even have TV into the building, so it's... I don't know a lot of this stuff. I see a little bit online, but not a lot, and I, I get no guests, of course, outside of dog people that come for pups, and so I, I have no, no traffic, so I don't know a whole lot. I uh, stay in touch on email and stuff, but I, uh, I, we don't have that kind of uh, interaction. The dogs and I, we walk up in the mountains, and that's where we stay. But the beauty of this whole program is that it's about as safe as a person can get to start a genetic pool in, uh, in a preservation aspect because simply because of the isolation and the way we raise dogs and the way we do things. And it, uh, it makes for a pretty good uh, setup. Now, as you can see, we're coming to the end of March. We're still froze solid here. I, I still got three feet of snow in the yard. So it's not like uh, we're in any climate zone where viruses live well either. They, uh, they don't survive here all that good, and they sure don't thrive. So it's, uh, it's a nice spot to run a preservation breeding program. Now, we're going to be having some pups for sale out of these guys. And I'm going to talk about our program a little bit later in another video on our, on our plans um, to, to do more in the, uh, um, I guess, to, to help certain people out. Um, we, we've been fortunate over the years and we're, we're hoping to, uh, to do something in that regard. And I... Uh, I'm going to be talking about Svea, the sister to Ayla, in another video here shortly, but uh, I'll, I'll save that for then. Anya, come by me. Anya. Hey, Anya. Your mom, man. Eh? Anya. These are amazing good companions, very, very social dogs. Response time is excellent. The response on this pup is better than this pup. Um, I sat with this pup when I was born. I got Anya at eight weeks over in Finland. I went over and got her with my brother. And uh, But this pup, I sat with her when she was born, so she's like locked on to me. She's bonded with me. If I sat here for four hours, she wouldn't move hardly. She would stay right here. She might just move a few feet, but 
she would just stay with me. She'll stay with me the entire time. It's, uh, it's a fascinating bond you can build with this dog. This is an incredible uh, genetic makeup, this, this dog here. Uh, Rico, Russ and Beth have done such a good job with him. They have the sister to this dog, Xena, down with Rico. And so we have, uh, we have a lot of these dogs getting placed. There's a dozen in Canada and eight in the U.S. And we're slowly building up uh, a genetic reserve. So it, it's quite good, actually. And uh, we're very, very happy with how things are going so far. The breeders overseas have helped us immensely. And they're so focused on setting this gene pool up. So they sent us Ella and Paso this spring. Paso's the big stud dog. Ella's a female for Ark. So it, Ark is the brother to Ayla. So very, very good. Anya, come by me. Anya. That Anya. Where'd your mother go? But yeah, I wanted to talk a little bit more because it's, uh, it's so evident now what uh, is required these days to save... Uh, gene pools that uh, is hard to believe so this this is a crucial aspect of it is setting up a separate pool of uh, blood so it works out pretty good and look at the result right what a magnificent dog unbelievable just an unbelievable dog so we're very happy about uh, our progress come on Anya come one more minute now hit the road Anya hustle Anya I'm doing a video here. <laughs> your mama, your mama. <laughs> come on, Anya, come here. I want to get hustling. Come on, come on, girl. Hustle in here. Hustle, hustle, hustle. Come on, Anya. <laughs> right here. My goodness, Anya. My goodness. My goodness. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Ayla will never get as big as her mother. She'll be maxing out about this size. Anya's mother was smaller, like Lisa. Anya is bigger than her mother. Anya is bigger than a lot of females. She's a big girl. And uh, she's powerhouse. And she can hunt, she can hike, she can fight, she can guard. She does it all, boy. She's full tilt. This full tilt big girl, Miss Anya. She was holding game at four months for me. She's a hunter. <laughs> and you don't come in the yard when Anya's out guarding, but I put her on guard. She's good. She knows. Ayla, she doesn't guard. She just watches the yard. But Anya, she'll guard. Yeah. She's very, very good. Pretty neat. Well, that's a good video, girls. Good. We'll wrap her up. Good girls. Good. Perfect.